Captain's Log number 2, start date August 11th, 2016. Today, we're going to work on how on setting up your ship to be a proper pirate or pirate hunter if that's more your bellwag. But the setup is going to be initially the same. As you can see here, this is my ship, called the Gambler 4 because four previous iterations have been horribly massacred by the Sentinels when I was conducting pirate activities out on the outer rim. But the first thing you need to know about your ship is some of the basic setups for the interior. Right on your left, you've usually got your weapon and speed. On your right, you've got your ship name and shield, which also turns into your target's name and their shield level and whatever planet you're currently aimed at. You've also got a radar on the front. It's not very that it's not really that useful, but it's it's not bad. Okay, you can definitely use it a little bit of practice and you can see it. We're gonna go under the hood. As you can see, the critical thing here is that all of my weapons are synergized. So what that means, they all have that red line around them that you can see pretty much here. Okay? And from there, all those weapons are all those attachments are a little bit better. Not crazy better, but just a little bit. And that can give you the edge in combat, especially against the Sentinel forces when they start coming in pretty heavy, or when you're attacking those big battle cruiser type or the big freighter type ships. So critical here you do not actually get a photon cannon damage increase it increases the rate of fire which is going to increase the overheat rate so I like to put a lot of uh, cooldown stuff on my ships I've also got the pulse jet taw up here which is a pulse engine companion unit unfortunately I can't get it to touch that and synergize there but that's okay um, we do have double shields, double extra shield boosts, which really helps in extended combat. Something I would recommend that all new pilots and even old pilots carry in their ship is going to be titanium. Titanium reheals uh, is a oxide thing that's going to basically heal your ship extremely quickly when you need it. So now we're going to actually go into some actual combat piloting, and I'm going to talk you through a couple situations. I consider there to be two main types of combat in No Man's Sky. One, atmospheric, and two, being space. The initial clip is going to show off some of the atmospheric piloting that you do. Now this is where I would recommend all new pilots to start so you can get used to the feel of flying your ship in combat. This game is not EVE, nor is it a, any sort of flight sim, but you can still have a lot of fun doing this. It's something I really encourage everyone to try. The main thing for atmospheric piloting, and piloting in general, is to always attack from an ambush, ambush position. You should be coming up behind or on top of your target. This is going to prevent any chance of them shooting back, because in No Man's Sky, all weapons face forward and do not have any sort of swivel mounts, unless they are on the freighters. Those bastards can absolutely wreck you. So you need to attack from a position of dominance. Now this is a nice, this was a nice little trip here and you get to see a lot of the things that make this sort of piloting so much fun. I've got a high rate of fire weapon on my ship and uh, it eats through the shields fairly quickly and I'm able to eliminate the other person. Something you're also going to see is that I'm actually using my brakes. Whenever I watch other pilots I see that they're trying to go at full speed all the time. That doesn't make any sense. You're going to have a wider turn radius and it's going to take you longer to get back on target. It is critical, especially in the early game, that you are able to remove these p potential threats extremely quickly. Because without them, the Sentinel forces are going to arrive and they're going to outgun you until you've got your ship set up better. It took me a minute to get this set up to where I was able to competently take out Sentinel ships. And one thing I would like to point out is sometimes you can see on your little on your HUD the enemy ships will have multiple little chevrons as the number of chevrons increase underneath each other it is basically rank the most I've seen right now is a three chevron ship and that actually completely destroyed me extremely quickly something you will notice here I'm attacking a group of four and this is a critical point because I'm trying to be a pirate that you should make it's okay to run okay these guys were really strong. All right, they actually turned on me and uh, did some serious damage here before I was able to drop them. And but I couldn't get their other two out, so they were able to call in the Sentinel forces who returned to attempt to completely wreck my face. So I killed this guy and I decided to go ahead and warp off. Local distress signal issued. We're bailing. All right, this was an attack. I was coming off planet, I had a full cargo and got jumped, managed to turn my recorder on. 
these are fun they're interesting and you're actually going to see get to see a little bit of uh, the recharge stuff keep titanium in your bay keep titanium in your cargo bay just a little bit of titanium will heal your shield all the way another thing you can see there is this ship is not actually my fully upgraded one so i'm taking a little bit of damage here but it's still this is a really fun game these enemies are the space combat is wild it's fast paced if you need some if you need to change up from exploring this is what i would recommend you do but anyway guys that's my hints for being a pirate and i just got an achievement so thanks guys if you like this please comment like or sub and have a great day